Hello there, and this is OmniRule100, and today I'm showing you another video. It's about the Windows product activation key loop of death, they call it. Funnily enough, you look at other videos on YouTube, try all these things, internet, you name it, they will all be useless. Um, any way that I found that you could be able to get past it would be to go on to um, other videos, look up some other things, but I decided today actually to do a video myself, a way of doing it. There's a couple of tools and equipment that you're going to need. Anyway, these are the commands and things. Basically, what you want to do, you want to boot it into normal mode. If it comes up saying a problem like um, when you boot it in, it comes up saying Windows product activation needs activation. Click on yes, <coughs> and as you go into it, it either comes up saying Windows product is activated, click OK to exit and signs you out, or <coughs> it comes up with the three options like either not connect, um, not bothering to do it now, or do it by phone. Personally, I wouldn't do it by phone myself, but still. Or second of all, you can do it by um, internet. Now, if you've got internet um, port, whatever cable or connected up make sure it's all linked and work with the internet fine do ahead go ahead but otherwise if you've got stuff like it's already said it's activated you have a dead pc i don't think that straight away there's a simple way around it all you need is a windows xp or whatever your operating system is which i'm guessing is uh, windows xp don't try this if you've got a windows 7 computer unless you don't mind spacking it up but then again i'm not sure about windows 7 i only know about windows xp um yeah basically most simplest of things you just go on to you need to get a um os installment I'll show you the one that I have in my downloads. Um, it's that one. I mean, I've got Home Edition, um, or that's my professional version, but I prefer Home Edition. You can do a lot more with it, um, and I'd say it's better. But I got this off Pirate Bay. I didn't pay for it or anything. Um, Pirate Bay is an amazing website, but make sure that all your proper... Um, Thing. I use Ball Guard instead of anything like Avast or AVG or stuff like that. Use that, I would say, because it's amazingly good. But anyway, I um, downloaded it. That's it there. You extract all the files, or it does it for you. Then you install Windows XP. Go through all these little things. It'll come up saying you want to activate Windows now. You click on No and carry on. And to all these uh, little wizards and stuff you'll get it so that it actually physically comes up as a normal um, <clears throat> Windows XP type thing you do not, whatever you do, want to switch that off until you've entered these following commands so you, you've already um, installed the OS, new OS, and it comes up with um, you basically, if you switched it off, it would go back into the death loop again but if you don't reinstall new OS, you just boot it into safe mode um, and so on. And what you do is, once you've reinstalled it and you've come up to the normal desktop page and you think, oh, it's brand new, really fast and everything, you want to go to start, but this is on Windows XP, by the way, guys, and there should be a thing saying run. You want to click on it, and you want to enter the exact codes, numbers, or whatever, not a capital at all. It just does it because it's Word. But you want to type in reg, R-E-G, S-V-R, 32 dot E-X-E. And then you want to do a space, L-I-C-D-L-L dot D-L-L. That'll be your first thing. And it should come up in the middle of the page around about here saying, um has been successful or has succeeded or something it's only a small little box and basically 
you want to um, do the same again, but with this command prompt, reg svr 32exe and then space reg wiz c dot dll and basically it should come up with the same thing new a new um it'll say succeeded or successful or whatever then hopefully that means that you can switch it off or whatever and it will boot back up into the uh normal things it should so yeah if you got any problems comment i'll try and get straight back to you as soon as i can um as i say i'm quite a good guy to know about computers and things um me and my mate we kind of run as a uh computer geeky type thing i have my own computer that i'm making at the moment and things so yeah i'm quite getting there i'm learning things on the way but yeah i'm pretty much nearly a great computer geek so thanks for watching please comment rate subscribe and like and i'll see you guys later